Hello, everyone. Uh, now time is 6.44 p.m. in India. I will try to cover this uh, session in 15 minutes, okay? Not, I will not drag much. So let's uh, know uh, the process, like how you can prepare your resume as a consultant, okay? Like already you are having experience of some years of experience in the domain then you worked as a support consultant, then you are now handling ECC project or a S4 HANA, HANA project, like kind of different process you are handling currently and you want to look into some opportunity. You, you update your resume and you try for something. And many will say like, uh, no cause that this and all. Like for that, I, I am going to tell how to change your resume accordingly, which will help you to get more calls. Okay, see now I'm taking one example of uh, resume which I received today. And um, uh, the aspirant requested me to uh, create one video for that. I'm going to create on that only immediately today. Okay, now let's talk about this. Uh, the heading, uh, the role, mail ID, contact. This is enough for addressing your about you. And uh, try to, uh, try to, manage to align some of the uh, like uh, uh, the word with the colon and all right you just try to, try to it it looks good now right when it is aligned properly and you can remove the underline also not required underline here okay and you can remove and this is enough then here experience summary again i'll just update this so don't not record any underline you can remove when it is bold remove underline and wherever you get this uh, uh, like correction, then you just ignore this, that's it, okay? Then here, the first line is good. Total five plus years of experience and three plus 3.5 plus years experience in SAP consultant. This is right, because when you are presenting yourself about overall experience, try to keep your whole experience from, from how many years you have, what, and how many years into relevant, because you are trying now with your latest experience. Even you have one year or two year experience in SAP and eight years into different domain, you have to present your whole experience, how how you are, how you did, how you managed your experience, what all things you covered and what recently you are doing. So that you have to present in the summary part, okay? Instead of done one implementation, you can manage, you can maintain like handled. You, you can say handled one end-to-end -end implementation. Okay, this is the correction you have to do and implementation and two, two support projects. Okay, this is the next uh, point, bulletin points. Then good understanding of ASAP methodology. Okay, you can add ASAP and activate methodology because uh, now everywhere uh, SAP implement, uh, S4HANA implementation is uh, happening, then definitely you may have exposure to SA activate methodology then mention activate methodology, you are go good in that. You know how to handle the entire implementation project of s hana okay? Then worked on BAPI mass data upload and worked on integration uh, configuration is not required in the here. You can add this in the experience, okay? Here you can add in the experience of your latest uh, experience here. I'll put here in this part, okay? I'll not keep this in the summary. Good capabilities in writing uh, function specifications for MM related developments and own the delivery to business along with the technical team. This is right. See, when you say that you are good in creating or writing function specifications for the particular requirement from the business and you are owning that complete uh, process and you are going to interact with the developer who is going to uh, write the uh, code or going to uh, create program or customize the program, whatever it is, you're going to take up complete responsibility for that, right? So that is a sentence bulletin points is very good. You should, you can add that, okay? And good integration knowledge or experience that you should put here. You have got knowledge means you never got any exposure with MM and SD or MMFI or MMPP, whatever uh, the area, right? You never got that kind of exposure. Uh, then you can mention as a knowledge. If you got exposure, experience, expertise, then you change the word accordingly in this uh, last point. Okay. Uh, then SAP knowledge, 
or you can see SAP expertise also remove this underline not required. So, and here all these points are related to the uh, the knowledge which you got, but you never uh, you might be handled some of the areas or not. It depends because within your three three or four years experience, you may got some of the areas more uh, requirement, and you never got any scheduling agreement related uh, activities, or you never got any info record related uh, doubts or. Uh, uh, or any support which is required from the client. Everything was going well and they are good in SAP. So it depends how, where, which kind of exp experience you got it. So you can put uh, uh, potential points over here. So here you can see a few of the points mentioned. Okay, here spelling also you should see contracts. If any correction is there, contracts and schedule agreement. Make it like this. Wherever you see this, you just try to uh, correct it. And there are, two, I think, two words are uh, repeated here. You remove one word. Okay. Now let's save this. Okay. Uh, then, okay, these are all the uh, points which uh, you can mention overall experience, what you have apart from this summary. Then, when it comes to a project details, you have to mention very clearly. Uh, how many projects you have done and latest project you should mention here. At the first, initially you should mention the, the latest, what you're doing from which direction to which duration, which what role project type, whether it is a uh, implementation support, whatever it is. Okay, I'll remove this underline is not required. Whenever you highlight on a bold, okay, try to re remove the underlines. Okay, here I'll just remove this. responsibility okay i'll i'll try to uh, put this into the next line okay so that that would that would be clear right this much is implementation spelling is not right again this correction these are all small small corrections you should do before you you producing your resume to the uh, the client or or to the organization okay and uh, here you are mentioning this i just i maintained dummy client details you can mention your uh, respective uh, client number details at all and project number three and responsibilities, what are the roles and responsibilities you have undergone? Like here, see, this is S4 HANA, HANA implementation, but one uh, mistake I can see, as is to be uh, processed. This as is to be was done in the ASAP methodology uh, uh, implementation process, right? That is an ECC. But when it comes to a S4 HANA project, it is activate methodology process. In activate methodology process, we will discover initially and uh, explore. See, when you're exploring, you have to mention what you analyzed uh, from the client uh, during the explore workshop. If any gaps you got or any, any everything has fit, that you should mention in the initial few sentence, uh, like what was your responsibility? How many workshops you conducted? What With what concept you conducted? Whether it is for the procurement process or whether it is uh, on the master data or whether it is about the integration with different module, right? There are different areas you have to explore because SAP has given standard global template now in S4 HANA implementation, we will use the standard global template and we will present, we'll do a workshops with multiple workshops with the client, then we'll uh, uh, take all their, their feedbacks and we'll uh, manage to identify whether it is a question or a request or uh, it's a change or whatever it is. So we, we will differentiate then uh, we will act accordingly. And once these uh, uh, explore phase is covered, then we will handle parallelly configuration part also. What was the additional configuration is taken care, whether it is global configuration or local configuration, uh, then there are different country uh, specific uh, configurations are there, then what are the languages to be co converted from English to other languages and all. There are many things you have to uh, map, right? You have to gather all that details majorly. Then how much time you invested to do all that? You have to mention if it is a one year project, uh, uh, three months for what, three months for what, you have to mention how much time you have taken and what was your role don't mention overall uh, experience of entire team and you can say uh, you can mention like somewhere you have contributed some of the things which is not completely you have 
uh, you have done some testing process you have done some creation of some uh, business requirement document or you have uh, created some testing uh, test scripts or you have involved with the data uh, collection for the data migration process or if any uh, uh, additional uh, effort you have take uh, put okay everything you should mention your roles here roles and responsibilities okay example see you have done some number ranges or material types here what material types you have configured there will be standard material types why you have not taken that and it is like from ecc to hana uh, implementation i can see uh, the same company who want who is going to implement uh, hana now but it was before uh, ECC supporting for the ECC and now they're implementing and the same company is going to support for the implementation. Then what are all the material types are uh, done? What are all the account groups are created in the vendor? Uh, there is no vendor master, right? That is BP, business partner. So you should be very clear while you're adding your roles and responsibilities. Don't get confused with ECC and HANA, okay? Let it be more clear about your uh, roles and responsibility. And if you're working as a support consultant in this to this time, uh, primary responsibility, like whether handling tickets, what kind of a tickets, whether it is a high priority, medium, critical, low, whatever, uh, you should be very clear about the tickets and which areas, example, you are mentioning like solved day by day, uh, day to day issues in PR, PO and GR process, what kind of issues it was, how you got it and how you analyze, whether you got more time to resolve it, it, it was more challenging, whether it is a data issue or whether it's a user, user education issue, or whether it is a fixing the uh, uh, process or something new plant was introduced and it was configured by someone and it, it was moved to production, but no one checked some process, end-to-end -end activity was not done. Somewhere they got in between that uh, while while creating the order, Some something it will come, right? So that you should mention what kind of issue and how you solved it and any changes you have done for that to fix or either it is one time issue in the production that was not repeating here and there. And if any, any repeated issues are there in the system, how you uh, trained uh, end user to not to come back with the repeat issue or uh, whether any automation you have taken care or any announcement you have under, you have done in that uh, period or only support uh, thing. See, all that you have to mention. See, here it is project two and project one is there. Okay, so this is different company. Okay, I can see some other company. Okay, so uh, wherever you are mentioning about your experience, don't copy the same act, uh, roles and responsibility to every project. Okay, try to write, you sit down for at least one hour to gather all your experience because you don't, you don't know what was happened two years back, three years back in your other organization. You might have done, you have worked also for only six months. For six months, only training was done. done. There is no much activities then six months period, what you have taken care. So let it be very genuine and clear because I have seen initial days of your consulting, you will not get much uh, uh, responsibility from any organization. They will try to uh, uh, give more knowledge transfer on particular process. Then uh, might be you have taken some uh, part of uh, the business uh, and supporting SAP end users and creating some um, user manuals or uh, some Excel activities, most of the Excel activity will be given to the junior consultant initial days, right? Because from the quality engineer position to consulting role, definitely quality engineer means how much uh, experience in SAP, very less, right? So directly joined as SAP as a fresher, definitely your effort will be more here in this project. Okay, other project will be uh, like, uh, will maybe got enough work to do, but you have to mention very clearly, okay? And don't suppress your old experience, whatever you have done in a previous organization, keep it, uh, what are the roles and all you have to mention as it is, if you worked as an end user also, you should mention the same and education, try to uh, keep less uh, and uh, some uh, organization look for a percentage of 60% above in all, 50% above in all education, try to, maintain what is the percentage uh, in all your uh, education, try to keep in the resume and personal details see in the this word file, somewhere it format is not good, it get scattered. So details are got scattered. So try to convert always your word file to a uh, PDF and share it with your, uh, like whenever you get any mail ID, right? right? From the HR, you share, in, share a PDF file and while sharing also, 
put some uh, bulletin points in the mail draft properly put subject line very clearly okay and uh, if you don't get any calls after some few days you follow up them get their contact number do as much as much as possible to get calls if not one company another company so don't get uh, 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 only don't stick with only limited uh, opportunities try for multiple opportunities so where exactly the company look for your the, uh, your experience is matching with that company they will take you simple so the any there is no company like rejecting you so they will reject because they are looking for someone that experience you don't have that's it okay uh, whenever you get failed in the interview don't don't be like uh, negative okay try to uh, analyze what exactly other company okay this is my fault i have to improve this this area try and come back and change your resume every time you should change your resume and you have to propose you have to uh, send to the particular organization as per their requirement see modification is required you would take simple example of uh, the you are attending a function of marriage okay you have to go with that uh, dress itself you are attending uh, any night party you have to go with that particular uh, dress only the person is same but your look will be different so you have to think in that same way and you are going to attend some funerals you cannot go with uh, the marriage dress right so they definitely have to know, will laugh at you right the same way when you share your resume understand the requirement of the company job description if you have you got something then always you prepare your resume and share it and somewhere you don't know what is the requirement of any companies and the, even they don't mention then try to know multiple job description of multiple companies and try to prepare one best resume that resume should be uploaded into a naukri or wherever uh, naukri.com or linkedin or indeed wherever there are the multiple job portals and try to make more connections uh, uh, try to get more attention of hr because hr people are very important for us to shortlist right screen our resume then later technical person will come then senior manager director whoever it is right so that will that is the process so interview process is very uh, the first screening is very important if your resume is not shortlisting a screening is not uh, happening then definitely you cannot present yourself you cannot show your experience okay by saying this i am going to close so i have told within 15 minutes i'll finish it i have done it so uh, if it is good means comment if it is not good also just comment what next video i should improve myself and what content i should uh, produce or i should present in the next video i definitely i will do that thank you all happy deepavali